Welcome to the Manning Hour, hosted by Cooper Manning. Week one brings a certain level of excitement across the globe in the NFL, even in Cleveland. And I'm here with Joe Thomas. Joe, that's truly an honor, and uh, I appreciate you having me over. It's a pleasure to have you. Well, <laughs> I bet. Is that a microphone in your pocket, or are you just glad to see me? Well, actually, it is a microphone, Cooper. Oh. Joe, it's an honor to have you on the Manning Hour. Don't you mean the Joe Thomas Hour? I don't, I don't, I don't follow. You know, Joe, I was doing a little uh, polling down in Peyton's basement, and it came to me that you're the fifth best thing that's ever happened in Cleveland history. <laughs> what are the first four? Well, you got LeBron, you got Jim Brown, uh, Bones and Thug. Cooper, it's Bone Thugs and Harmony. Hush. Is this the only place in the world where an offensive lineman can be the star of a team? Enough, Coop. This is the Joe Thomas Hour. Hey, Spence, roll the tape. Welcome to this special edition of the Joe Thomas Hour. Okay, we obviously are not LeBron over here. If you scored a touchdown in the NFL, what would your touchdown dance look like now? Uh, you act like you've been there, right? That's right, although I've never been there. <laughs> Do you uh, mm -hmm. sense that you're mm -hmm. trying to be me? How about a little question off JoJo? Deal. What do you think the greatest invention of the last hundred years is? Uh, Cliff Notes or the Bunsen burner? Would you rather mud wrestle against James Harrison bottomless or Hugh Jackson topless? Hugh Jackson topless. When was the last time you cried? I would cry if I watched you and Hugh Jackson wrestling with him topless. And then smile. If Tim Couch, Spurgeon Wynn, and Charlie Fry are all stuck in a burning building, who do you save? I think you go with Tim Couch. The answer is the building. <laughs> Can you describe yourself in three words? Selfish. Disappointment, weakling. Did you ever party with Johnny Menzel? Why doesn't glue stick to the inside of the bottle? As a proud Clevelander, isn't it great not to be from Detroit? If a fork were gold, would it still be called silverware? With Brock Osweiler, you just knew that wasn't gonna pan out. Would you rather walk around for the rest of life with other mitts on or a football helmet on? Last season, did you call Terrell Sr. prior to him putting it on his jersey? <laughs> hey man, that was a good one.